Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. This is part 2e, uh, test 4 for calculating the zero sequence impedance with grounded Y, grounded Y transformers without a delta. So as I stated before, that are, when you have a grounded Y, grounded Y, you have four tests that you need to apply to in order to calculate the components of the T model, which will be the next video. So test four, you apply single phase voltage line to neutral basically to the low voltage winding. So for this example, I'm using 12 kV. All three low voltage windings are shorted or connected in parallel. The high voltage winding in this case are shorted. So we don't have a delta, so we don't have to worry about this. So if you have a, a high voltage, so H1, H2, H3, and you have the low voltage windings. So X1, X2, X3 bushings. So what you do, you short the low voltage terminals basically then you apply single phase voltage and the high side voltage windings are shorted. So the measure voltage is 80 point volts. The measured current is 400.12 amps. So this is the equation. You can calculate the zero sequence impedance in ohms per phase. And here's the equation. You can calculate the zero sequence impedance obtained from test four. So since I'm applying voltage to the low voltage winding, which is 12 kV, that's why I'm using 12 kV to calculate the rate of current. So this is just square root of three because I have to calculate the line to neutral. Here's the rate of current. I'm using the high voltage and low voltage windings are rated 27 MVA. So that's why I'm using 27 MVA to calculate the rate of current. Then I just plug the numbers basically to calculate the zero sequence impedance obtained from test four. So in doing that, basically I get 11.26%. So since I have the high side windings are shorted, the low voltage windings are shorted also, and I apply single phase voltage to the low voltage windings being shorted. Since this is in the circuit, this is in the circuit because they're shorted, that's why the zero sequence impedance obtained from test four is the low voltage winding plus the high voltage winding. So next video, part 2F, will be to calculate the T model. Basically, putting together zero sequence impedance obtained from test 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, and then calculate the components of the T model and build the T model, which is the goal, basically, of doing all four tests. So you can use the T model for calculating uh, short circuit. Uh, currents. For more, more videos, you can go to Engineer Simple. Thank, thank you and have a great time.